wants to think of their road as the scene of a crime or imagine shady dealings and deadly consequences just down the street. The people who live on that rural road in Clay County feel the same way. WCBI's Victoria Bailey joins us live with their story. Victoria. That's right, Joey. I spent the day with people who live near the crime scene, and they tell me they're experiencing a wide range of emotions. There's sadness, there's confusion, but most of all, they tell me there's fear. The neighbors who live on Dixie Hill Road are scared. I mean, how would you feel? It's this close to home, and you don't know what's going on, so. You know, it kind of like make you suspicious because you don't know who to trust and who not to trust. You know, it kind of make you like you don't know who to trust, so you want to stay in your house. Clay County Sheriff Eddie Scott responded to the call, and he says his deputies are working around the clock looking for answers so people who live here can feel safe again. In any type of violent crime, you know, in our communities, it, it sends shocked waves. Uh, people get scared, and, and a lot of times they don't understand or don't know what's going on. Um, so, you know, it's our job to, to reassure them that, you know, hey, it's going to be okay. Nicole Burns lives not far from the crime scene, and she says this changes how she feels about her own community. Well, I was, well, I was in shock because my mom had called and told me, and I was just leaving her home before it happened, like maybe two hours. So I was like totally shocked. I was scared also, but I was more in shock. Like, I can't believe, like, something like that happened in our neighborhood. Scott says much of their investigation depends on what people see and what they share. Uh, we always want people to call, even if they think it may be insignificant. That's what our 911 system is for. Call it in and let us check it out. If you have information on this crime or any crime, you know, we encourage you to call. We call the sheriff's office. The continued cooperation amongst the agencies and working with the public. Burns says she lives in a tight knit community, and for this crime to happen so close to home, is upsetting. You know, everyone pretty much knows everybody in the neighborhood, so it's like we're, it's kind of like a safe neighborhood because everyone knows everyone, but you know, you still have to be aware of your surroundings and everything that's going on, so you have to still be safe. Now, Sheriff Scott emphasizes the importance of community as the case continues. If you have information and would like to remain anonymous, you're available to call West Point Crime Stoppers. Reporting live in West Point, I'm Victoria Bailey for WCBI News. Joey.